Here's a fun story. Let me drink some water before we um get into it. I remember seeing that. I was like, yeah, this is this is a thing that's currently happening in the world today. <laughs> Actual Area 51 people outside the fences. So. And now I know that someone was there. Someone I know was actually there. <laughs> Okay, so our plan was to just watch the shit go down. And on the way, maybe about an hour and a half uh, before it was actually supposed to happen, we stopped at a gas station and saw a couple of actual people like looking for the raid too. Like they had alien secrets and everything. So we talked to them, and they seemed like experts. They seemed like they knew what the fuck was going on. So they told us to meet them at this thing called the Black Mailbox. So... They say, okay, yeah, just follow us. We're going to go to the Mac black mailbox. It's about as close as you can get without actually being in the raid. You'll get a good view and everything. So just follow us. We'll take you there. We follow them. The guys drive way too fucking fast for us to actually keep up with them. So they take a turn into a little uh, dirt path. Completely smoke us. Once the smoke clears, we don't see shit. We can't see them anymore. So we're driving straight down this dirt path for... A solid, I want to say 20-30 minutes. Like, pretty close to when the raid was actually supposed to happen. And we eventually see some car lights, some headlights, way down in the distance. So we think, oh shit, that's probably them. So, we go follow the path towards those headlights. I'm actually gonna go to OBS, have a putt-putt back me up on some of this. We, we, uh, we follow the path to the headlights, thinking, okay, that's them, the black mailbacks. The black mailbox is probably right there. About 10, 15 minutes goes by, we see the headlights, and we realize that's not them. We see a car decked out in camo with the uh, little sirens on top. We see, I don't, I'm not a military dude, I don't know what to call it, but we see another car decked out with camo with a turret, a gun on top. Oh. The, with the dude at the turret, just pointing, we're just holding on to it, not pointed at us, but just holding on to it. We see dudes decked out in military camo with vests and everything, holding ARs. And as we pull up, we park. We see a couple more people come out of the uh, come out of the shrubs in the desert. And what do, what do you call those things? The things you always see in the desert? Fucking. Uh. Whatever, you know, just shrub, bushes, plants, whatever. Just mm -hmm. we see a couple of mi more military oh, tumbleweeds, people. tumbleweeds, tumbleweeds. People coming out of tumbleweeds in active camo with the vest holding more ARs. There's a dude in the um in the first car I mentioned with the one with the sirens. He says, "Where are you guys heading?" We say, "Um, we're looking for the black mailbox." You're way off, buddy. You passed it off a couple of miles ahead. You know where you are? Um... No? You guys are at one of the side entrances for Area 51. Oh... You guys want to take a picture? Um... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Sure? And... A dude... A dude... One of the dudes dressed up in camo holding an AR. He says, okay, yeah, sure, I'll escort them. I'll take them over. And then he flashes his lights up in the air, like a flashes a flashlight or something. Presumably letting people know not to snipe us. He guides, uh. us, guides us to the gate, takes some pictures with us, and we went on about our day. And he just, yeah, just what's up? go on about your day. That, that, just about your day. Okay. What, no, what not, did you actually get to take pictures of? Of the front gate. We went, not the front gate, but we went to the gate of Area 51. Did not just an actual fence, but like, did you see buildings? No, no, because they don't have buildings for miles, because they don't want anyone to see anything. Mm -hmm. It's just a big fence and nothing but desert. The actual buildings are presumably like miles into it. So when uh, we finished taking our pictures, Putt-Putt actually grabbed a rock from inside the fence. And I shoved my foot underneath the fence just to say I stepped foot in Area 51. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's saying in chat he got the rock from Area 51, he says he still has it. <laughs>